Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Lauren Lee 11. So I'm going to be giving you an alternative today to a curl activator. As you know, I love my activators and I've been testing out all these activators. But the difference is today's activator I'm trying out is a cream activator. This is one that I have used in the past. I love this line. I love the smell of this line. This was one of my least favorite from this line only because of the consistency and it just I just felt it didn't work for my hair. But my mum has been using this religiously on her hair and her hair as you can see is just beautiful. Her curls are uniform all throughout her hair and this is literally what she uses every day. And I say it every day because she applies it every day. For me, I think it would be a bit, a bit too much for my hair every day. But she can wet her hair, reapply it, and go every day. Now I'm going to be using the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Line. If you can see that, sorry guys. Moist and Shine Curl Activator Cream. This is what my mom does. She's got a cool little trick that she does. Now, because this has a very thick consistency, I can't show you now because I've just done what my mom does. She dilutes it. I think she just dilutes it until she's happy with the consistency. So therefore, I have done the same. Also, guys, this helps to extend the life of the product because you have more for your money. And this costs $5.99, so it's not exactly cheap. But as I said, it's an alternative. No sulfate, silicone, mineral oil, or petroleum. Now, my hair doesn't necessarily mind those things, but I know some people do want to try a co-activator or do want to try some products I've been trying in my video without the above that I've just mentioned so I'm giving you an alternative today um, I have tried this on my hair now it's been watered down and I love the consistency and the way my hair looks in the end so I'm just going to show you today one thing I will say though guys I find it's easier for my hair to absorb the product when my hair is medium damp to dry because I find when my hair is actually wet as I have low porosity hair my hair takes a while for water itself to seep in. So as it's trying to seep into my hair, it's actually been evaporated as well. So when I have a heavy product on my hair, it takes its time to sink into those cuticles into my strands. So as you can see, my hair is quite damp, but or quite wet, it's dripping actually. But for that reason, I may need to reapply in certain areas, frizz prone areas. Right guys, so let me just start. I'm gonna do my hair the usual way that I do it. I have no leave-in in my hair whatsoever, no products. I'm literally just using this. And a lot of people ask me, why don't I use the leave-in? It's because I have low porosity hair. I find that I get more product buildup if I've got a leave-in conditioner and then the styler on top of my hair. Unless it's like a, the S Curl Gel Activator that I use as a leave-in, anything else, like a cream it tends to give me product build up and it doesn't actually penetrate my hair it just actually sits on top of it so it says moisturize moisturizes activates and defines curls of exotic shine now that i've watered it down the consistency is still quite nice for my hair it's still thick enough for my hair but still watery enough to give me a bit of slip as i apply it when i first bought it it was super thick that i couldn't even squeeze it through the nozzle i literally had to take the lid off and pour it into my hand, well, squeeze it into my hand. And as I, because it was so thick, it was almost like PVA glue. <laughs> I'm sorry, cream of nature, it was. As it was like PVA glue, I had to squeeze it. And as I squeezed it, it some would come out and it would kind of go back inside the bottle. So now it just all comes out. But I don't necessarily want cream of nature to change the uh, consistency only because, as I said, I can extend the product by adding more liquid in there. Okay, so let's just go for it, guys. I'll show you what I've got so far from the back. And you know the reason why. Don't you know a way to eat to swim? Can't you feel the waves come crashing in? Running out of safety nets, cause every night, every night. I fall down in the middle of the night, screaming, oh my god, cause you love too deep. You know you love too deep.
Don't you know I'm way too weak to swim? Can't you feel the waves come crashing in? Running out of safety nets, cause every night and every night I fall down in the middle of the night screaming, oh my God, cause you love too deep. You know you love too deep. I wanna get you all alone now and go hide away from the lights. But I don't dare to, I'm too fragile, and for that I do apologize. Maybe someday we can work it out, but I'm afraid it's too late to try. Baby, I don't dare to love you, and you know the reason. Okay, so as you can see, it does nothing for my edges, <laughs> so I will suppose have to go in with some type of gel and lay those. It depends because I may have a fringe. Just going by how I applied the product, I raked it through because this product has so much slip. Once I raked it through, it was enough to saturate the ends of my hair. Now, what my mum usually does with her hair routine is she will then use a Demon brush or a shower brush and brush the rest of the product through her hair. And then what she usually does is twist her hair until it's partially dry. But I think I might just give myself a little, two little twists. Anyway, so that is that for now. Do you know what? I may not twist my hair because my mum's hair dries nicely. Her hair shrinks up nicely and coiled. Mine will dry stretched. So yes, I'm just going to leave it like this. I will come back to you once it's fully dried and styled. I will see you soon. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm back now. This is the next day from using my co-activator and doing my wash and go. Um, I slept with my hair like this up in a pineapple and I'm about to take it down just to show you guys. Um, from what I can see, the curls are nicely defined but as you can see my ends have started to frizz. I did sleep on my satin pillowcase and I didn't get the same effect when I used the soft and free curl activator. But bearing in mind, the curl activator I used for this video is actually a cream. I felt like, I don't know if you can see if the camera picks it up, but I felt like I could see some flaking, which I'm not too happy about. But So I'm going to take my hair down. Now I feel like if I move it too much, it does have a slight hold, but I feel like if I move it too much, then my hair will start to get really big. Yep, I can see you flaking. I can see flakes coming out. And I don't want to manipulate it too much, but I have to just, it's all right, I suppose. It's okay. I like the way my hair goes up like that once I put my hair in a pineapple. So I think, I think I may have a fringe today. As I said, guys, if you guys have that side of your hair that always shrinks up more than the other. <sighs> oh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, just to ease it out a bit more, I'm going to use my pick. Just to get some more fringe going. Right. My hair is quite fine at the roots. So it's sometimes hard to create an Afro style. Um, I think I'm gonna leave the frizz and just, oh, I might just shoot it up with my Estor spray that I showed you in my last video. It is a cute style and we don't want to waste it. But by the way, if you were wondering about the drying time, I'm assuming it's because of the heat and I had the fans on. So my hair dried within, literally within about two hours, as opposed to the whole 24 hours it usually takes. Let me just spray. Just freshen up, you know, because this is a new hairstyle. Well, I think that one spray will do. Yeah. Scrunch it up. It will fit in suit. Oh, that's the thing as well. I don't want to spray too much because I don't know if it's going to cause a reaction. Let me show you the back. Yeah, so overall, I think it's okay. Um, for me, sorry guys, you can see that as well. That is the flaking that I've got from just moving my hair around, which I'm not impressed about. Because obviously if I'm wearing a black top like I am now, I don't want to be getting 
flakes all over it. As I said, this is one of my least favorite in the line, but it just works amazing for my mum's hair. For me, I don't know if I'll continue using this, but obviously it's just another option for you guys. Personally, I think for these type of washer goes, I'm gonna continue to use the soft and free curl activator. My hair obviously does not feel as moisturized as the soft and free one. Yeah, so that is it for today's video. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out my merch down below. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.